when you get a little old, the time is very precious, and you've got to preserve it. Uh, and so uh, I've decided that I'm not going to run again. 18-year Congressman Amo Houghton standing in Donna's restaurant among hundreds of invited supporters, declaring that he will not be in the 109th Congress. His family, worth three-quarters of a billion dollars, helped put Corning on the map with what is now the world's largest glass museum. They're well-rooted in the area, and so is 90-year-old friend John Blois. I wouldn't know it. He, they're just, just, just ordinary people, just uh, they white collar, blue collar, don't matter with them. For former CEO and congressman, it might feel unusual to not have official power, but he hopes that won't keep him from the front lines, especially on the area's paramount issue. I would really like to keep my, my hand in the whole economic development here. In terms of high-profile issues in Washington, the past year has challenged Houghton. His desire to restrict future tax cuts and his opposition to the war in Iraq put him at odds with the administration. I think the tax issue was hard. I think the, uh, uh, I think the going to war was, was, was difficult. Finally, the speculation on whether Houghton would retire or not was at last quelled. Fending off second-guessers had become a routine. In 2000, Amo Houghton had told staff members that he was not going to run. Well, two weeks before he was going to announce it in public, he had an about face and decided that he would run. But he had a little problem. He had already ordered these pens that say, it's been a great run. Thanks, Amo and Priscilla. Well, four years later, he says that that message is still the same. <laughs> the ink is a little dry, but I've got one for each of you, if you would like it. And I thank you again for being here, for being our friends. The vacant seat means that a horde of Republicans can finally take aim. But that discussion for Houghton was for another day. In Corning, Evan Axelbank, Newswatch 16.